Livy places the first Roman gladiator games, 264 BC, in the early stage of Rome's first Punic War against Carthage when Decimus Junius Brutus Sava had three gladiator pairs fight to the death in Rome's cattle market forum to honor his dead father, Brutus Para. Later, these games played a huge role in the social structure of society. Ancient Romans loved to see gory, bloody battles to the death and watch a slow, torturous death. These games were an opportunity for the emperors and rich aristocrats to display their wealth to the populace, to commemorate military victories, mark visits from important officials, and celebrate birthdays. The games also distract the populace from the political and economic problems and kept poor and jobless occupied. The gladiators themselves were usually slaves, criminals, or prisoners of war. Occasionally, the gladiators were able to fight for their freedom. Criminals who were sentenced to death were sometimes thrown into the arena unarmed to serve their sentence and play games like chariot racing, gladiator fighting, Roman boxing, hoop rolling, Roman ball game, indoor Roman games. These games were so influential to the Romans that many emperors like Caligula, Hadrian, Titus, Caracalla, Geta, Didius, Julianus, and Lucius Vera are reported to have fought in games. Emperor Commodus was famous for his mad devotion to fighting in gladiatorial games. Gladiator contests at odds with the new Christian-minded empire finally came to an end in 404 CE. Emperor Honorius had closed down the gladiator schools five years before, and the final straw for the games came when a monk from Asia Minor, one Telemachus, leapt between two gladiators to stop the bloodshed, and the indignant crowd stoned the monk to death. 